Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It is Katie from Without a Crystal Ball, Katie Joy. I am so happy to have you here. If you are brand new, thank you for stopping by. If you are a brand new subscriber, I am so excited that you are here. If you haven't yet subscribed and joined our community, make sure you do. We have so much fun every single day talking about a variety of different topics, hanging out with friends, and sharing commentary about the world. Um, hit the subscribe button here and then turn the bell, ring the bell for notifications so you know when I go live. Welcome back to all of my subscribers and my amazing members. And if you are interested in um, supporting the channel, please consider becoming a member. Okay, and all my social media links are down here. Okay, so we have been talking a lot about the Duggars and some, it's funny because I have two camps of people that follow me when it comes in relation to the Duggars. There are the people that are sort of on my side of things where, and I'm not asking you to pick a side, that are coming to, from a place like me where it's of this belief system that they follow is not typical. Um, there are concerning aspects about the family's choices and how they portray themselves to the media and what happened with Josh and how it was handled by the family is deplorable and um, concern for the girls, obviously, and the adult daughters, and then just concern overall um, that the way that the children are treated and what they're learning based on what is taught to them by the Institute of Basic Life Principles, which they follow. And that is a organization that was started by Bill Gothard and um, Bill, Gil Gates, uh, Bill, Gil, Gil Bates, um, from bringing up Bates is actually a board member of the Institute of Basic Life Principles. And people will say, well, Katie, you're so against Christianity. The Institute of Basic Life Principles has absolutely nothing to do with Christianity. Nothing. It is, um, a set of rules written by a guy named Bill who was never married and never had children. And he decided that through these rules, this is how you're supposed to treat people. This is how you're supposed to date. These are the clothes you're supposed to wear. These are the attributes you should have. He has a lot of opinions for not a lot of personal experience, let's just say. Um, um, <clears throat> okay. So if you are the other camp where you are devout and you are a Christian and you are, you know, a fundamentalist or you are sort of a supporter of the Duggars, that's fine too. Um, that will not make us anti-Christianity. We are not that at all on this channel. We support everyone and their beliefs. What we don't support are beliefs written by Bill Gothard. Okay. So we know that Jill, has had um, a lot that's been going on in the past few years, okay? So in 2015, it became a, um, known to the world um, when In Touch Weekly published a police report that had been obtained through the Freedom of Information Act um, that was related to Josh Duggar and some um, inappropriateness between him and his sisters, um, with him being the, the person doing it, okay? Four sisters, Jill, Jessa, Ginger, and Joy, Joanna, those are the four, and a babysitter that was never named. In the documents, it was detailed what happened, and then that led to uh, TLC cutting ties, theoretically, with Jim, Bob, and Michelle, and they changed the show from 19 Kids and Counting to Counting On, and it was supposed to focus on Jill and Jessa. Jill and Jessa sat down with Megan Kelly. It was really awkward, uncomfortable. It was terrible. Um, within a couple of years of all this coming out, Derek um, starts having these sort of temper tantrums on Twitter. He ends up getting um, removed from the show, Derek being Jill's husband. And since they've left the show in 2017, um, <clears throat> Michelle Duggar and her husband have not publicly acknowledged Jill since May of 2017. That's right, over two years ago, almost three years that they have gone without even saying a peep about her on social media. So Jill has been pushed out and Derek started spilling some tea 
And Derek said that Jill is not allowed at the house unless Jim Bob is there. Jill didn't want to film Counting On because of what happened with the stuff related to um, the past with In Touch. She wanted to move on. She didn't want to be forced to keep filming. Um, they didn't want to film, but Jim Bob sort of pressured them to film. They were never paid, he said. They didn't receive any money for their wedding special or the, two, or the birth of her two children. Nothing, not a dime. So, well, not her two children, her, her, her oldest son, Israel. And he says that TLC didn't seem to care about them. Um, Jim Bob is greedy and he holds all of that over his head and tells the kids that they're volunteering. He has been sort of a whistleblower and Jill has been sort of silent behind him, sort of allowing him to be her voice. And this could be a product of Jill still trying to find her feet in a world where she's no longer in that world. Or it could just be that she doesn't want to say anything. She doesn't know what to say. But yesterday she actually shared something on Instagram that some people might think is innocuous and be like, that's nothing. This is nothing. But it actually, in the world of Jill Duggar, is humongous because this is clearly a response to what her husband has been talking about and sort of shares, it points to you kind of where she's at. So I'll put it up for you right now. Hold on. Learn from the past, live in the present, and trust God for the future. So it's very simple. Learn from the past, live in the present, and trust God for the future. And she put a heart by it. Okay? And obviously that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's huge. Because she's acknowledging that there is a past. Right? A past that has likely caused a lot of issues and is likely part of the rift that exists between her and her family. And her family still supports Josh, their health. Anna Duggar was praising them for their unconditional love and going on double dates with them, okay? But Jill, and they don't want to talk about the past. The Duggars don't want to talk about the past. They don't want to acknowledge the past. They don't want to think about the past. They don't want us to think about the past. They don't want us to ask about the past, right? Jill says, learn from the past and be in the present and trust God for the future. Now, whether you trust God or trust yourself or whoever, the fact that she is learning from the past tells me that she is not wanting to repeat the past, right? We, If we're learning from the past, we don't want to make the same mistakes that we went through in the past or the same problems that happened in the past and that we're looking towards the future and perhaps trusting the future with God. She's obviously a devout believer, so trusting that it will guide her into a place and maybe if she's in a place in time where things feel very chaotic, that she will be able to learn, grow, and that all of the things that are supposed to happen in her life and the people that are placed in her life for the season, the reason, or the lifetime are put there by God for her, okay? So I thought this was actually a pretty profound statement and I thought it was really like telling like Jill is not the kind of person that typically makes these types of posts. She's over, you know, she's just the, it's telling and she is absolutely responding to Derek. Um, then I want to show you something else because this I noticed almost right away. Now you remember I spoke to Amy who is by the way, such a sweet person. Um, I've gotten to know her a little bit more over the last few days and she has a heart of gold and I'm, she is sassy as hell, but she is such a sweet, loving person. And I noticed that <clears throat> shortly after Jill put that up, Amy put this up and it was like, I subtly see Amy doing this, like, and it makes my heart very happy because she sees Jill say something and then she posts something almost for Jill. Like, I just feel like the Lord is laying this on my heart to share. Yes, you might be struggling. Life is hard. So many unexpected twists and turns. We lose friends and lovers, people we generally care about, people who we think will be there forever, like our family. And then out of nowhere, they just vanish from our lives. Instead of just focusing on losing a friend, 
really analyze the friendship or the relationship, maybe God is protecting you for a reason. Maybe God wants to give you someone better who will complement your life in a healthier way. Now, <clears throat> I thought that was sweet. And I'm not even a believer, but I thought that was sweet because I feel like Amy is telling her cousin, you know, I know it's hard, but maybe they're out of your life for a reason. Maybe it just, you don't need them. And maybe something better is coming. And maybe don't focus on why they're gone, but why you're still here and what is it in store. So, um, and it's funny because I asked Amy, I made a, I made a statement about, I said it made me sad or something that Jim Bob, cause she wouldn't comment about the stuff with the family. And I said, it just makes me sad that Jill can't go over to her parents' house and, um, without Jim Bob's per permission. And Amy just said, Jill has so many other places to go. She'll be fine. Like there's, and I just loved that. I loved that response from Amy. Like there's just other things Jill needs to do. She has, there's other places that she goes where she'll be wanted. Like that was kind of the response that Amy gave me. And I loved that. And that response from Amy right there again is just, you know, her support. So, okay. So then I noticed too that, I just want to show you some of the comments. Let's change here. Okay. And someone said trauma makes it hard to go to the past, to let go of the past, but we continue to but we continue to push through this. You've got this. One of the best quotes I've read in a while. I needed this today. Thank you. And then I saw this on Jill's page. I thought this was awesome. I saw the video on Without a Crystal Ball from today and I have been following Katie. I fully support you, Derek, Amy, and her family. I pray for you all to have peace, strength, and justice. I wish there was more I could do to help. You are loved. I want you to know that with the body of Christ, you have a place. You are greatly loved. Please, please DM me if you ever want to talk. I may not exactly understand what you're going through, but I walk through difficult life paths and you're still in my prayers. And this right here is what makes me so happy about sharing these stories is that there are people like you that are watching this and that are hearing this and you're hearing Amy's words and you're hearing Derek's words and then you are going to Jill and you are telling her I support you and if you need anything I know I'm your stranger I'm here for you and I just want to say to Holly you're awesome for posting that she didn't respond maybe she will but the fact that you put that out there I don't even care that like you shared my name it's more like I'm really glad that somebody is seeing these things and offering Jill the support that she does need because this is the kind of stuff she needs so that she knows that her parents made her believe that this whole world that we live in is wrong. You know, they made her, they made her grow up through their belief system that things of this world are terrifying. Like everything that you and I do is bad. And so if more people that are of this world, remind Jill that she has support, love, friendship, and that she won't be judged. And maybe if she has that openness from others, um, she will be more confident and more comfortable speaking out, right? And then I thought about something else, is that a lot of people have been um, talking a lot about um, Derek's comments about jazz, okay? And then that got me thinking, these are kids that grew up in a world where these types of beliefs about that lifestyle, it's not even a lifestyle, it's, <clears throat> they've been grown up in an environment where they were taught that if you are not cis, straight, and heterosexual, you are wrong. No black or white, nothing in between, right? And you're going to go to H-E double hockey sticks if you are anything different. And that's been ingrained into their heads. And I've learned that some people will make statements like Derek and then completely flip. And then they'll realize that what they've learned is wrong. And so 
the best thing that you can do and you can hope in a situation like that is instead of attacking and judging and being angry, but just continuing to show through your actions and who you are that, you know, this, these things that you believe about these people or this community isn't accurate. It's what you've been taught and what you have been told isn't true. Um, the more you're kind and interact and you're nice, the more exposure she's going to get. They have, she has no exposure. You have to remember that none. She has no exposure to this kind of lifestyle at all. So, and I asked Amy about that and she just said, you'll get more, you'll make more progress with people if you don't judge them. And I actually really like that. So thank you for that tip, Amy. All right. And she says, this person said, guys, you're amazing. Miss you very much on the show and absolutely crashed, crashed to hear the rumors that you were not treated well. The show only survived because of Jill and Jessa. Very true. Um, I'm so sorry your life is so public and that every move you make is under a microscope, it seems, but you are handling it all so gracefully. So <clears throat> that is her public statement to the world, and I actually think it's pretty dang awesome. And I want to know what you are thinking about these statements, and I want to know if you not only applaud her for her bravery to say that, but then are also like, happy to see people supporting her and then are you really happy to hear see how like her cousin is sort of like I feel like everyone needs when you're coming out of a belief system no matter what it is every single person needs someone that still shares core values that they do but is not as entrenched you know what I mean like when I was coming out of a fog with other, with my former, like most recent former beliefs, I had people that I was talking to that sort of reminded me um, that what I was experiencing at the church that I went to wasn't normal, but that I was still not wrong um, for questioning it. You know what I mean? And so I feel like Amy also being a believer, but being more progressive will help Jill too. Does that make sense? So I'm actually super proud of Jill. And again, I'm going to always extend an offer to Jill and to Derek to this channel. If they ever want to speak, our channel is open to you. Um, hopefully one day you will feel comfortable enough to do so. So <clears throat> tell me what your thoughts are. Are you, do you think this is about her family or am I just making this up? And what do you think about Amy's support? Tell me in the comments below, okay? Also, I saw your super chat. You want to know about how to become a member. Okay. So Jenny Duncalf, if you check on my description, in my um, box down here, descriptions, there's a link that says support the channel, become a member. Just click that link and then it'll, a tab will pop up and it'll show you three different tier levels and you can see which one you want to support. Um, the champ, the ranges are like from $3.99 to $24.99. You don't have to do the more expensive one. I have tons of people that are in the $3.99 bracket, and that is perfect. Um, it's all about what makes you feel the most comfortable, um, and I am grateful for anyone that joins. And if that's what you'd like to do, thank you so much. Um, and then make sure that you give this video a thumbs up before we go as well as another way that you can help. Some of you guys ask, well, I'm not a member and I can't afford it. What can I do? You can watch my ads. That will help tremendously. Going through and instead of skipping the ads, watch them all the way through. That helps this channel so much. The longer you engage with an ad advertisement and it's free for you to do that, the more money the channel makes. And then you don't have to feel bad or like, you should never feel bad if you're not a member, but it's an easy way that you can support the channel without having to pay. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much. I will be back in a little while with more, and 